Hello, this is Carl Brooks with I am therefore iPad.com and today we're going to talk about a tweak, a jailbroken tweak called Blue Troll. Blue Troll is a Bluetooth control application. You see it's compatible with iOS 6.1 but it essentially allows you to um, use a Bluetooth device to control your iPad and I'm going to show you this thing in action so you don't have to read all of this but I did want to mention that it's not compatible with every game so if you're thinking about buying this it's not cheap it's six ninety nine. if you're interested please in, uh, do some research to see if the game that you want to use this with is compatible so uh, the point is do your research before you uh, shell out six ninety nine for this app but if it works with the ones that you want to work with it definitely will might be worth the money to you so let's get started uh, sort of plays like um God of War and you have this virtual keyboard you move the guy around you can punch see that but holding this device and doing these things with the virtual keyboard you know it's not as nice as it would be with with controls so what I've done is hooked up my IK using blue troll and I've mapped the keyboards so that these keys on here or interact with this game that's not intended to be iCAD compatible. And now the same game is controlled with the buttons. See that? He's swinging. This one's block. This one's the super slash. And I'm not sure what this. But you see it on the on the screen. The keys, corresponding keys, actually light up. Even the joystick you see there is moving as I move these keyboards and he's in the joystick so it makes for using and playing the games a whole lot better with a, a keyboard so how do I do this again blue troll so let's take a look at what blue troll is okay so blue troll this program here it allows you to take a game that's normally with the virtual keyboard as I said before and so let's take a look at Soul Calibur. I hadn't set Soul Calibur up yet and let's see if we can walk through this. The screen is off the button. We'll just do arcade and just pick anybody and I hadn't even played this game yet so Alright. Okay, now you can see on the screen it's big, huge control buttons. So the way it works is I need to take a picture of this, of this screen. If I can get my bearings right. Okay, so I have to take a picture of the screen by pressing the home key and the uh, power button. So now that I have a picture of this and I'm in landscape mode, so then I go to Blue Troll and I add a game. So I'll hit the plus here and this is kind of bright. I think I can turn this down a little bit. It's not as bright. And zoom in. Okay, there you go. So I hit the plus and it allows me to select the game so it says please choose I pick there and I'll scroll down to the S's the Soul Calibur is the game we're going to do so I click Soul Calibur so my game is selected now it says pick the screenshot I have a landscape picture so I'll define that go to my camera roll and I choose that picture that I just selected or just took a picture of. So it shows that's defined now and now I have to do my controller configuration. I hit the add button and I have the IK. So you see all these different types of controllers that they support or will support. So I'm going to pick IK 
and I I want to choose a picture that I chose. So I'm going to put this button, the controller here. I'm going to put the white button, the first white button here. The second one I'm going to put there. This black button there. The other black button here. And then number seven button on that one. Okay, so I think we're all set. So again, these core these buttons match up with the buttons there on the IK. All right, so I'm going to hit done. Just down here in the corner, and now we're done. So let's pull the game back up. I'm going to turn the IK on. You see the power button, red, 25 cents. That's on, and we'll go back to the game. Pedal 2. Okay, so now with the keyboard. So you see I can move the character around. I can hit. But this is kick. The lower one's kick. Okay, what does this one do? That's block. Not a good block. That's block. That's an attack button. So there you go. That's what Blue Blue Troll does. It allows you to convert games that are not typically uh, uh, set up to use the IK to be able to use the IK. It'd be nice if these big buttons would disappear, but again, this game doesn't know anything about this IK, so it doesn't. It doesn't remove those like the other games do. Uh, There you go. So this is Carl Brooks with I am therefore iPad.com saying until next time, I'll see you on the web.